Wise Girl reading for the month of August 2015, and this is going to be for the sign of Scorpio. Okay. Um, again, like I said, I've been uh, doing all one as a general energy, which is the past, present, and your future. If you guys prefer the longer version, then definitely let me know. Comment below, message me, or private message me. Subscribe. Um, and give me feedback, definitely, more than anything. I will be switching it up for you guys every month, doing different spreads, uh, just to see which ones you guys vibe with or have a better connection with um, throughout the months, okay? So, let's go with Scorpio. Spirit, what are the messages for Scorpio? August 2016. Scorpio, 2016. Spirit, what are the messages for Scorpios? August 2016. Spirit, what are the messages for Scorpios? August 2016. Okay, so from the shuffling, I'm feeling um, Scorpios are going to definitely be having a month of decision making. There is some type of energy of confusion. Uh, usually confusion is uh, a lot to do with having to make decisions, having to go back and forth. Um, perhaps one day you wake up and you're like, yeah, I'm definitely going to do this. And then the next day you're like weighing the cons of why you shouldn't. Uh, so there's definitely some type of a, a grounding needed for Scorpios for the month of August. Okay, this is going to be my last shuffle. Spirit, what are the messages for Scorpios? August. 2016. Okay, so like I said, um, there's going to be some type of uh, decision making, and in order to make those decisions, uh, in order to make those decisions, you guys need to ground yourself. What I mean by grounding yourself is perhaps going to uh, your element environment, which is uh, water, perhaps going to the beach, going to a creek, going to a lake. Or whatnot and the reason for that is because like I said there's gonna be some type of decisions needing to be done in August and in order for you guys to make the right decisions and not just quickly jump into decision making uh, definitely ground yourselves and like I said you can only do that within your nature or within your elements so that would be the water element okay so <clears throat> as a general energy for August 2016 you guys have the knight of swords the swords is all about uh, intellect, understanding, and communication. Um, the knights are very impulsive, so there's definitely going to be some type of impulse decision or some type of um, making a decision um, very quickly and hasty. Okay, uh, the knight of swords out of whoops, the knight of swords out of all the out of all the swords. Okay, okay. So this card fell. And then I seen this one, okay? Um, and I'm being pulled to that. So I'm definitely going to stick with this as well. Okay, so um, like I said, it's very impulsive. It's very hasty. It's just going with it, you know? Uh, swords is all about the air element. So it's all about, you know, um, going with the wind, so to speak, um, and in a very hasty or even aggressive type of behavior. Um, so definitely just analyze, uh, like I said, in order for you guys to make the right decisions that are coming up for the month of August, definitely be around your element, which is water, uh, to ground yourselves. Um, even when it comes to decision making, if there's a decision you want to make, go to the beach, go to the lake, uh, go where the water is at, um, and just meditate on the water, and you will definitely know within you, your intuition will guide you into making the right decision, okay? So, um, like I said, um, this is a general energy. So the other card that was behind it that caught my attention and was like the rainbows were uh, very bright uh, when I seen this card. So there's definitely going to be a decision making about <clears throat> uh, making a decision that has to do with the family and home or a decision that has to do um, with a decision that your family or loved ones um, will be supporting. Um, so it can have numerous things. I mean, you guys in the near future do have, and I'll get to that, but you guys do have the full, and the full is all about new beginnings. So it can be purchasing a new car. It can be purchasing a new home. It can be purchasing um, just something new. Um, 
something new and having to make that decision. And of course, having the background or the support of your family, the family uh, more than anything, okay? So it's definitely beautiful energies. Like I said, with the Knight of Swords, just be careful not to make hasty decisions, okay? So in the passing, you have the Three of Cups, okay? And the Three of Cups has different meanings, of course. Um, but in the passing, perhaps uh, trying to bond or trying to come together in a celebratory type of uh, uh, environment, um, and it can be with family members, it can be with friends, it can be uh, just um, a union, sort of speak. Um, of course, as the number goes higher and higher, uh, it increases, right? Um, so obviously, you know, three is all about building. It's all about um, coming together as a group and having um, different um, or trying to build something, okay? So it's definitely like, uh, what's that word I'm, I'm looking for? Um, learning to learning to work as a team or teamwork um also in the relationship front this can also represent three it can also represent um having to make a choice or or um having to having to make or wanting to make decisions um always going or communicating with the family and having their support and having their support in the passing. Okay, this can also represent a third person, but I'm not getting that energy. I'm not feeling that energy. I'm feeling more of like just reaching out to family members, sisters, cousins, whatever, uh, for a supportive type of system. So in the present position, you have the five of cups. This is definitely your sign. I mean, you have three cards that are cups, so it's definitely within your element. And the five of cups is all about um, having past regret or thinking of um, thinking of the past or dwelling on the past. I'm not sure if you can see, but uh, this mermaid has two cups here and then three here, the three that are spilled. It's like this person is uh, dwelling on the past versus looking to the future. Or perhaps it has to do with uh, making a decision from your past and having to make a decision now at your present, uh, perhaps with a new person or perhaps uh, even with, with the past person. Um, more than anything, it can also represent um, some type of sadness, obviously the ocean, you know, um, costing me very much like tears being dropped, perhaps um, the loss of something it can be the loss of a family member a loss of a loved one not so much on relationship wise but more on just a loss um something that was out of your control and having to deal with those emotions um you know one one moment you feel like being around people and being smiley and giddy and then the next the next minute you're again thinking about it and thinking about it so heavily that you actually get yourself in a very sad uh, state of mind. Okay. And that's in the present position. Now for your near future, you have the fool and the fool is a beautiful card, especially when it falls on a, um, on the near future, because it's definitely calling for new blessings and new beginnings more than anything. So perhaps, like I said, the decision-making has to do with a, a life, uh, changing, um, a life changing, um, lesson or decision that's going to affect the rest of your life. Um, and like I said, having the support of your family members and having the support of your loved ones um, encouraging you to do so. Now, the full also invites us to really analyze and not to be stupid when making decisions. And what I mean by that is the full is all about new beginnings. It's all about having that carefree type of energy. And because it's coming up in the near future, it can also represent just be careful about the decisions you make. Okay, just um, be mindful about whatever decisions that you make or you decide to make within the month of August going into September. Um, go, let your, let your gut be the one to guide you. Okay, listen to, listen to your element or listen to your energy. Um, and you will definitely make the right decision. Okay, like I said, 
as a general energy, you do have the Knight of Swords and the Ten of Cups. And Ten of Cups is all about happiness and feeling fulfilled. Um, but like I said, just be uh, understanding not to make irrational decisions or decisions very quickly. If someone gives you an ultimatum, um, you know, you have to make a decision right now, then obviously they're not wanting what's best for you because they would not encourage you to make a rational decision or a decision so quickly. So just be mindful about that, okay? So there you go, Scorpios. I hope you guys have a blessed August. Um, like I said, comment below, message me, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think and let me know if you guys prefer the longer version or this one, which is a shorter one. Okay, many blessings and you guys have a good one.